So I asked ChatGPT, which should be your very first programming language as a beginner? Is it going to be C++ and Java? And it really gave me an interesting answer. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on guys? Tanmay here. Welcome to my channel Simple Snippets. I make tech educational videos like programming, networking, data structures and whatnot. So if you're interested in such content, definitely check out my channel and do subscribe if you like these videos. So today's video is going to be a little interesting one because this is a question that I get a lot from beginners, especially who are just starting off their computer science and IT careers and they're choosing their very first programming language. So obviously the first question that arises in everyone's mind is which programming language should you choose? Now, if you ask an experienced programmer or your mentor or your teacher, all these humans will give you somewhat of a biased answer. In fact, if you ask this question to me, I am more biased towards C++ programming because I find it easy. My friend started off with Java. Some people even start off with Python. So how do you get an unbiased objective answer to this question? This is where someone who is not really human comes into picture. Yep, artificial intelligence is generally solving many of our problems lately and you know chat gpt is definitely in the market and has been making programmers life a lot easier so why not ask the same question to chat gpt that's what i did and i definitely got an interesting answer now the whole intention of asking this question to chat gpt is to get an objective answer where you know the chat gpt ai analyzes the pros and cons and suggests us one programming language as the very first programming language initially i just asked point blank to chat GPT that uh, which programming language is better as first programming language for beginners C++ or Java. I was not expecting chat GPT to pick one winner immediately and rightly so it basically gave me a huge paragraph with you know the pros and cons and different aspects to consider you know the learning curve application memory management and comparison between both Java and C++ and I was like hey bro that's not really what I want are you gonna pick one programming language or what? So the second follow up question that I asked ChatGPT was, can you pick one? And to my surprise, it actually suggested one programming language, which is Java. And it gave me five points as reason to choose Java as very first programming language. And it really makes sense. Let's go through these points. So the first point says simplicity. Now, this might be subjective. I don't think it's simple because I started off with C++. However, there is a lot of commonality between C++ and Java syntax. Some things are different, some things are common, especially the concepts. So according to ChatGPT, Java has a simpler syntax compared to C++, making it more accessible to beginners. The second point is automatic memory management, which is true in Java's case. So Java has its own garbage collection, which reduces likelihood of, you know, memory leaks and errors. If you don't know what all these th things are as a beginner, you can look it up. I also have C++ as well as Java for beginners tutorials, two separate playlists on this channel. You guys can check it out. The third one is platform independence. Java is right once run anywhere philosophy. It follows that philosophy. So it's very advantageous for beginners as it is kind of versatile, which brings us to the fourth point, which is versatility. And Java is used in wide range of applications. Even in mainstream applications, in real world use cases, Java is still one of the most popular programming language and it is versatile enough to be, you know, uh, used on web applications, on desktop applications, in mobile applications, etc, etc. So it, it has a huge scope. So as a first programming language, it will definitely be advantageous when you are actually getting into the corporate world. And then lastly, it also said that community and resources are strong. Java is a very, very old programming language. There are huge resources, a big and strong community. Java is being updated quite a lot. There are new software updates to Java programming language itself. And a lot of functionalities are also updated. So yeah, even after that, uh, ChatGPT gave me a note. However, it is important that the best programming language can vary depending on, depending on individual preferences. Yeah, we know that, bro. That's that's not why we asked you. But yes, ChatGPT has suggested Java. And as someone who started off with C++, and I've been recommending C++ to many beginners, it might be a good choice to go ahead with Java as well, since we've got a kind of a objective and non-biased or not so biased answer from a non-human being, ChatGPT AI. So yeah, this is the answer of ChatGPT when you're comparing between two programming languages and you're picking up one particular language. 
pretty interesting right i think maybe we can ask some more questions to chat gpt about the same let me know in the comments what would you want to ask chat gpt and we can you know kind of ask it and discuss some of the answers that chat gpt gives us all right i'm gonna wrap up this quick short video over here hope you like this one if you want such interesting videos where we try to explore ai and other technologies we can definitely do that let me know in the comments if you are down for such things along with tutorials as well and yeah thanks for watching guys i'm gonna wrap up this video over here this is tanmay sakpal signing off see you in the next one peace